Hello and welcome to a quick overview of the setlist editing capabilities of the Nautilus Remote app. As you can see, we have the Nautilus Remote app running on the iPad and it's connected to the Nautilus instrument. And um, yeah, whatever we do on the left side is reflected on the right side. All right. And we can directly jump into editing. So there are two levels of editing on the iPad. One thing is a kind of in place slot editor, which you can find um, on the right hand side in the menu. And this gives you um, access to the most relevant slot parameters like color, hold time, volume, transpose and everything. So this is a very convenient way of adapting the color scheme or the, the colors in your, in your set list um, as you go and um, <clears throat> change transpose values, for example, you can use um, the in place slider here. And if you need a bit more precision, you can tap on it and use the, the real menu here. Same for volume, which you can edit in place or just tap. Um, the second option, this is the slot editor. Second option is the real edit mode. This will bring up a new, um, new view and you will have your set list as a list view. And here you can hold a slot and then drag and drop it to a new position if you want to rearrange everything. So you can take this one, move it up here. You can take another one, move it down. And um, this is very handy if you want to change the set list just before the show and some things got rearranged. So you can just move everything to its new destination. And if you hit, um, if you just close it, uh, all those edits are reverted and nothing has changed. But if you want to apply the changes, let's move some colors to the front. Uh, you can hit OK and it will immediately um, shift all the slots in the actual set list view that you have here. You can see that it has not changed on the Nautilus because we're editing only on the iPad. We can even remove the USB connection and keep on editing on the iPad side. Um, there is no, um, some data is actually transmitted to the Nautilus, this is um, uh, due to the communication protocol, how it works, um, it cannot be avoided. So if you do certain parameter changes, it will reflect in real time on the Nautilus, which is fine. But for example, color changes, or even if we do the rearranging, this is not reflected in real time on the Nautilus. This is not possible technically. So um, you always have the original set list on the Nautilus as a kind of backup. So you're sure you don't, you need to explicitly upload your set list to the Nautilus to really have this one overwritten here. Um, the same thing we can at any time, um, there are these upload and download buttons, we can any time um, download the, the current set list from the instrument and make everything, uh, undo everything that we did here. So if we load this from the instrument, you can see we are back to zero now uh, without any edits. <clears throat> so this is essentially how it works. So we have this slot editor here and we have the real set list editor. So let's take a look at the real set list editor. As I said, you have the chance to drag and drop certain slots and to rearrange it. Then it also um, has the same symbol here for the slot editor. So this is exactly the same that we had before, where you can change the colors, you can um, edit the comment, um, set the transpose values, whatever you want to do. And there's also a nice thing, you can hit this button here and then it will give you a second list and you can have a second set list at the side and drag and drop from this source set list to your current set list. So this means right now we have um, the same set list on both sides, but um, let's just um, start a new set list and see if this, how this can be used. So we go to set list number one change the name and let's call it something like tonight's show. And then we go into our editor and we have the preload set list on the left hand side. It's actually changing. So preload set list on the left hand side. And we can just drag and drop the slots that we want to have for tonight's show over here. So um, you can exchange data um, set list slots between any set lists, but for example, this one would make sense, let's say to 
have a kind of a repository set list where you have all the songs that you currently have in your um, um, your that you're able to play, and you can um, start a new set list simply by um, dragging over the songs in the correct order that you want to have. So let's take this one, and now we want to rearrange it a bit on this side, and um, we also want to change some colors. Oh, interesting, it doesn't get updated. So we will fix that in a future update pretty soon, but let's say what happens if we click OK. Then you see it has been actually taken over the colors, and if you go back to the editor here, they have the right colors, so it's just some... Um, seems to be a minor bug here. If I change it here, it doesn't get updated here. But in fact, um, yeah, we have the updated slot colors here. So this is um, basically what you can do. And um, also this editor has some more buttons up here, <coughs> Um, some nice things, so you can um, simply delete single slots or you can insert new slots uh, which have the default values then. You can also undo what you did before. You can move a slot and then say, ah, oh, that wasn't the best idea, undo and it will move back. And you can also close the entire editor and uh, you can revert everything that you've been editing so far here. So you have um, yeah, multiple changes, changes, changes chances to go forth and back while you're editing. And um, once you're done and you say, this is a great set list, I want to really apply it to the Nautilus, you can hit the upload button and say, please save set list number one to um, storage place number one. And here you go. You have the updated set list on your Nautilus. And um, yeah, the same way you can also disconnect <clears throat> everything. You see there's no link anymore between iPad and Nautilus. You can take the, I, um, the iPad backstage um, and rearrange tonight's show and, I don't know, put everything in a different order. So leave it like this. And this is automatically stored on the iPad. You can even close the app and uh, come back. So this is um, still there. Then you can reconnect the Nautilus. We are connected. And um, again, the sync process does not consider the set lists. <clears throat> so even if you would um, sync the current state, this is a different topic, but if you would resync um, iPad and Nautilus, it would sync the combinations, the programs, and the songs, but it would not touch the set lists because in case of the set lists, I expect that you might have been doing some intended edits on the iPad. And so you never know if the iPad contains the latest versions or the Nautilus contains the latest versions. So there is no automatic sync. And I said you can decide whether you want to keep the Nautilus set list and re-download it to the iPad. Or if you say, well, I just changed backstage, um, I want to use it now in the show and you can again upload the set list to the Nautilus and have the latest version available here. So this is essentially what's happening in edit mode. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Bye.